Look at what Ryan Day's done. Either as an offensive coordinator, as a head coach, succeeding Urban Meyer. I mean, they had Dwayne Haskins, the late Dwayne Haskins. He was a first-round pick. Justin Fields, he was a first-round pick. C.J. Stroud, he was a first-round pick. You've got Chris Olave, Garrett Wilson, Jackson Smith and Jigba. Oh, by the way, Marvin Harrison Jr. is probably better than all of them. You could argue, Dan, that Ohio State, even including Georgia and Alabama has put the most talent on the field in the last five, six years than any program in the country. Easily, easily. I, it's hard to say someone's put more. It, it really is. You know, I mean, Georgia defensively, Alabama always has the talent. Georgia defensively has put a lot out there, but I mean, Ohio state has just been loaded. They keep reloading. Um, uh, and the, the dominance. But you know what? And, and I'm going to tell you, when you were at these jobs, I used to laugh, at, you know, when, when Urban Meyer was at Ohio State, we, right? He said, you know, I was, I was coaching at Mississippi State. He said, you know, you win eight or nine games at Mississippi State. You, you like, they think you are the greatest thing <laughs> in the world. Here at Ohio State, you got to win all of them. I said, well, the problem at Mich- Mississippi State is I got to go play the SEC West every week. And I'm playing Alabama, LSU. I'm like, you essentially have to beat Michigan because you roll the ball out and win all the other games because that's, you, you, that's what they you do. He said, yeah, but that one game is all that matters. You, I have one. You, you have to pick eight of the 12 to win. He said, I have to win the one of the one. And, you know, I mean, that's, that's what it comes down to. And that, that is – I'm going to tell you there in it, the, the mental side of football and don't think this doesn't exist in that game. Ohio state's going to work for it all year. They're going to be focused on it. I guarantee you in spring, they spent spring breaking down Michigan and making sure the plan is in place all the extra time. That game plan was kind of organized last spring of how they're going to do it, how they want to attack and play the offense and play the defense of Michigan and what's going to happen. Now they'll make the tweaks in game week. But that's all done and they will be prepped. They will be ready to go. They will be so motivated for that game. But in the back of the head, they've lost two in a row and they're on the road. And do they have the number? And the first time something goes bad, Ryan Day better make sure that sidelines not looking at each other saying, "Uh oh, here we go again. Uh oh, uh oh, do they actually have our number? There's that psychological edge that can jump in your head in those type of games. You know, and we we saw it, you know, the 10-year war between Bo and Woody, and then everyone was excited for Urban and Jim Harbaugh, and now it's Harbaugh and Day. I mean, this is one of those. I think it's the greatest rivalry in college football, and here's why I say that. I know Auburn, Alabama, the Iron Bowl, people love it. That's a state game. That's a game within the state of Alabama. You know, I, I because it's two, it's two different states, it's Ohio State, it's Michigan, To me, it's the best rivalry in the sport because you have players who grew up in Ohio that went to Michigan, players that grew up in Michigan that went to Ohio, players that had chips on their shoulder because one of the other ones didn't recruit them. And there's always a Big Ten championship at stake. And back in the day, it was all about the Rose Bowl. Like this game came down, the Heisman Trophy winners, Desmond Howard, Charles Woodson. I mean, these are, got. to me, it's the best in the sport. And I don't think it's close. Well, yeah, because I, I think of every year, it's been a meaningful game. I mean, you look at the the big ones of uh, Oklahoma, Texas. I mean, that's always that's a great one, big one added, but it's always at a neutral site. Florida, Georgia, at the neutral site. I think those make it kind of fun. Uh, you know, USC, UCLA, back in the old days, used to be so special for so long. But I think the one that has stood the the you know the stood the width of time. I mean, of, of is that game? You have a hard time finding many games where championship implications were not on the line every single time they played that, that game. So I, I I I think that's what makes it the biggest rivalry. Now, I mean, to individual people, there's always bigger, but I think the how big the game is for the sport and for championship level of the league year after year throughout history. I think that makes it the biggest one. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube for live streaming sports and premium content. Subscribe to ESPN plus.